subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Tune in to see what it takes to feed the world's strongest brothers on a daily basis. Okay guys, so it's uh, a full day of eating, number two with the Stockman brothers. Um, so Nathan has now done us up in food again, so I'm on phase five. I'm on phase three. It's on phase three, so we're both getting everything's up. We've added a few wee things as well, so uh, as you can see on the table here, Luke's now on 10 eggs. <laughs> I'm still on 10 eggs, 10 but eggs. I'm Ooh. allowed to have bacon and sausages if I want in the eggs. So I can have it as an omelette form, anything I want. Ooh. And then we're both on porridge, but now I'm on 600 grams cooked porridge. So I used to be on 180, so 600 is a, a lot. But also we have four eggs left over. What are we going to do with four leftover eggs, I wonder? Simon's going to run and we're going to hit him. But before that happens, guys, you better like, like this video. Or I'll hit you with this. Ah, prank. And comment to see where we should hit Simon with the eggs. Should we hit him there? Should we hit him here? Or should we hit him here? <laughs> First, we'll cook food. So, we're going to get this prepped. So, we're going to scramble these eggs. I think they're a bit easier to cook just because we've got 10 eggs each, so 20 eggs, 20 scrambled eggs, we're going to cook the bacon up. Chuck some bacon in. We've got some sourdough, we're going to add in with the scrambled egg, and then... And the three bears porridge, baby. Three bears porridge. So Tom's going to crack his 10 eggs in there, and I'm going to do my 10 eggs here. He's stolen one of my eggs. No, no. Yes, yes. Two, mm. four, six, eight, ten. So we're going to have a race, a crack-off race. No, you've started already. Okay, look, I'll do this one. This is going to be the one you chose. Cheating, man. Right, so when you count us in. Three, two, one, go. Oh, sugar, sugar, sugar. I just come in. Oh, these are just dropping like their flies. They're dropping like flies. That's probably why they were 60p. Finished. Egg, there's eggshells in there. Referee! Oh, one egg fell on the floor. Look at that. <laughs> right, <in> the <laughs> Look at that. Sugar. <laughs> right, let's, let's compare. Let's just compare, right? Egg. There's, there's mine. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to get whipped <laughs> up anyway. Stones. But there's no eggshell. Yes, it is. What's that? There's loads of eggshell there, you nugget. Right, let's, why did you make such a mess, man? I need to do one more egg. Oh, so you need to do one more egg, so... Bigger brother one. He did take all the eggshell out as well. I'm not mixing. Jesus. Do it over the sink or something, Tom. The race done. I think it was a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. An a shell. That's, a That's not a shell. Sorry. It's a bit of semen. So, we're, as we said, we're going to do them scrambled. Just for a little change. I think it's just a bit easier to cook. Um, 20 eggs. Yeah, cooking 20 eggs. Just a, rather than frying them, less can go wrong with scrambled eggs. So we'll soon see. So that's them eggs, so we're just going to leave them off to snow. So we're just going to cook the bacon up. Campbell's meat bacon, baby. Campbell's meat online. Extra virgin olive oil, one calorie a spray. So I like to put on a thousand sprays. One thousand. That's how you cook bacon, isn't it? What are you doing? Hey, that's not... I didn't think anyone could ruin an egg, but you've proven your incompetence and ruined an egg. Get out of my kitchen. You're done in here. Thanks, sir. And then what we're going to do here is put 10 eggs in a pan, whisk them up, add a little bit of salt, a little bit of cream. What I like to do is add creme fraiche because that makes it luxurious. That's why I've got three Michelin star restaurants and I am Gordon Ramsay. Five little sausages sizzling on a wall. Got our porridge, we're on the triple berries, I think it's called. So Tom, you're needing 600 grams. Yep. I'm gonna guess, I don't know what it'll be wet. Let's see, so. 180 dry, and then we're gonna add the milk in. Water. You want water? Yeah. So for 180, I'm gonna zero that, so we need three times the amount of that. So. One eighty. 
three, four, a little bit more. And I think that'll be, oh, right, never mind. So chuck that in for five minutes, Tom, see how that comes. So as you can see, Tom, the maniac, likes to have water with his porridge, which I find a bit strange. I don't like milk, I've not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not allowed to have milk, so I just want to stuff it. So comment below, who likes to have porridge with water and who likes to have it with milk? So comment water for water or milk for milk. Simple. You better choose milk. What do you like it with, Simon? Milk. Ha! We are a little bit of butter with the scrambled egg. Scrambled egg, it's like me and my brain scrambled it. <laughs> oh, 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 so much easier on fried eggs. So. Finger licking goodness. The finished product is here. 10 eggs, some bacon, and 600 grams of porridge. So I've also got 10 eggs, some bacon, a little slice of sourdough, a little slice of heaven to suck up all the grease. And then I've got 500 grams of my Three Bears triple berry porridge, which I highly recommend. And guys, if you're enjoying this video, I hope you're remembering to like, comment, and like it even more. <laughs> Dan, that was probably our most substantial meal, I think, of the day. Um, just now, since I'm not kind of eating uh, extra pre-workout boost meals just now, it's the biggest one by far. When we're eating clean, you know, there's no cheap meals or anything like that, it's the biggest meal. Same. Especially that porridge, cheese. Nathan, from 180 grams to 600, who do you think I am? He's, he's killing me slowly, he knows uh, that my T-Rex appetite is getting slower and slower. Pretty much the same, Tom had 100 grams more than me and his porridge and the rest was the same, bacon, eggs, a little bit of sourdough bread as well, that was all pretty much the same. Pulse off with a glass of water, so that's uh, the first meal done. Nice uh, and easy. Tom's going to go and clean up now, and then we're going to get on with making the rest of the meals. So my next meal is quite simple, it's just a mid-morning snack. Mid-morning snack, but it's meat again, so it's like sausage and bacon, 340 grams with a pint of fruit, so. Like yogurt, um, I have a, uh, a yogurt with some um, fruit, and then I might make meal number three, which is lunch. We'll probably make that now, get that done and dusted, so we're not lagging behind. Then it'll be one more meal, and then it'll be Training, Damn I think. Get Depends when we're doing tonight. The two left over. Ooh, ooh, Jesus! Oh, oh. The two leftover eggs. One nearly went away there. <laughs> Lucky I caught it because we're going to hit that boy, Simon, behind the camera. He's got three settings to run. And we nail him with the egg. One of them's hard boiled, one of them's not. Start running now. Three, two, chuck. No! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. rubbish. Right, Simon. Ready, steady, go. One, two, three. Oh. Damn it! I thought you were going to jump into it. Athletes, ready. Come you ready, to Tom? Him. Yes. You going to smash them? Yes. Three, two, one, second, yeah. one go. One. <coughs> no! I still missed. Retake. Oh. <laughs> What happened, Tom? <laughs> oh, it smashed on me. I got pranked. Hey, count me in. Off fleet, ready? Yes. Contender, ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, so meal two. I prepped at like 4 a.m. in the morning. I feel I was ready for this. We have got bacon <laughs> and sausage and a pan of fruit. 340 grams of meat, fruit, and there we go. Meal two is nice and simple. So this is my little mid-morning snack. Um, some yogurt, 400 grams of yogurt. It's pretty much a whole tab. Um, 100 grams of blueberries or fruit. It's all different fruit. So the way Nathan does his diets, he gives us um, options. So that's why you'll see Tom. Tom's eating his meat. Sometimes I find if I eat too much meat, um, I get a bit bunged up, so that's why I quite like to have a yoghurt, it's a bit more fresher. So that's my mid-morning meal. 
So this is basically all the meat that we've got left to cook for today. So we're going to fire all this in the pan, get it all cooked, and then we're going to portion it all off. So we've written it down. So Tom needs basically three meals um, with meat, 340 grams. I'm doing something a little different. So I've got two more meals with 300 grams of meat, and then I'm having some other bits and pieces instead of the meat. Um, but Tom loves his meat. So we've got some steak mints from Campbell's Meat, steak burgers, and we've got some um, diced steak here as well. Also, a little secret ingredient, beef dripping. Smell the goodness. I've actually never used it before, so we're gonna try it out now. Right, Tommy, we're gonna get into it. Mamma mia. We'll just cook it separately. So we're cooking the steak mince first. I'm just going to put a couple of uh, beef stock cubes in here. That'll mix with the fat. We'll put that in and then we'll put some beef fat in. Or beef dripping, sorry. See how that goes. Hopefully it'll be tasty. If not, well, we've got to eat it anyway, so. Big cook, little cook. We cook for everyone. I'm cutting some beef fat or beef dripping to see how it goes and just gonna throw it all in. Jeez, that's a lot. Look at that. Is it meant to be that much? Who knows? Where did Tom and Luke go? Tom? Luke? Tom? Tom? What are you guys doing? <laughs> Real free. We are on 340 grams from myself, the carb, potatoes, and an easy optional veg. Hey, <laughs> one of your five a days. There's actually five a day, I think, in here. Carrots, broccoli, sweet corn, three we'll do. Uh, so we're going to put this in the microwave. Yeah, the microwave. We're both basically having the same. Looks just a little bit less grams of uh, mint. I think he's 300. But then I think his carbs and veg are the same, are they? Pretty much one, yeah, one large baked potato. So, yeah, that's what we're saying is one large baked potato, but it actually feeds, serves two people. I think the American version of a large baked potato, I've been to America, it's like the size of your hand. So, yeah, I'd agree with that. And then we've got the mince cooking, so we need to weigh up this mince dish now. So, we'll just do that after we've got the the potato and the veg cooked. Do I hear a good fact, right? See, egg whites are one of the best things for your skin to clear acne, to help your skin open their pores. For aging skin, egg whites can help tighten and firm. If you have large pores or acne prone skin, egg whites help close pores and get rid of buildup. Well, and, and if your skin is oily, egg whites are said to clarify pores and hair follicles that make too much sebum. Save money on skin products Get six egg whites, put it in a cup and down them, and your skin will be glowing. Do they not mean put it on your skin, egg whites? No, you eat them. You do not put skin on your egg whites. We have 300 grams of mince, 340 grams of mince for Tom, one large baked potato. And some veg. And some veg. Basically, uh, mince and ties. Mince and ties. Why did the fact we sort of call it say macaroni cheese for some reason? So, we're going to have this. That means Nathan are actually cra craving macaroni cheese because I keep saying it, so I want macaroni cheese. Can I have macaroni cheese? I want a burger. No, I don't want a burger. What? Nothing. Strawberry tart. Mm. Anyway, last meal. One more meal after this and then we're training. Three workout meal. We have got Perform Way. What flavour is this? <laughs> Double chocolate flavour from inside. Inside, I've been supporting myself and Luke for a long time now, and uh, we're so thankful for uh, Danny Insight Saps for giving us whatever we need every kind of month. So, this protein and Rule One Way are two of my favourite proteins of all time. He just gives us protein after protein, vitamins after vitamins, pre workout after pre workout. We got a new pre workout tonight from Insight as well that we're going to try. One scoop. Oh, two scoop. Three scoop. So three scoops of that. Two punnets of strawberries. We might be 15 strawberries I'm going to eat. And then five donuts. I always use water with a lot of things. Um, 
Even for Nathan said, don't use milk. I don't like milk anyway, so it doesn't really bother me if I mix porridge, mix protein shakes, mix anything with water. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. Obviously, people be like, oh, what do you mix your cereal with? <laughs> I have milk with cereal, but I have uh, almond milk. So I like the almond milk now. I didn't used to like it at first, but I got used to it. So now that's what I have with cereal, but everything else is mixed with water. Are you eating it with a green bit? Mm. You know why I do this? There was one day, I think it was on home or a holiday or something, and uh, I had strawberries and I was like, I can't be bothered taking the green bit off, so I just went, it tasted the same, so it's ever since I'm just, uh, yeah, always. Down in the Stoltman Strength Centre, just about to train in half an hour, or an hour, sorry, so I've just got my um, pre-workout meal, uh, fourth meal, so I've got 400 grams of yoghurt, uh, blueberries and I have these are like nature valleys so four of these granola bars so I just find that quite easy to get in huge shout out to uh, Insight Supplements for sending me this what's it called Liberty Juice Freedom Fruit Juicy Fruit Gum so this is a little cheeky pre-workout so thank you very much for that guys I'm gonna neck that I'm just gonna quickly finish this I'm big, big Tommy and myself I'm going to take a couple of dry scoops I didn't get into it Oh, it's fired We've had our fourth meal We're standing outside the one and only Stoltman Strength Centre The Mecca The Mecca of weightlifting I would say in Scotland In the Europe In the Europe <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to get in We've got some squats World Strongest Man style again Kind of hitting them hard Donnie from LC24 Cycle Repair We've got a new bike in, he's donated that, so big shout out to Donny. Means the world to us when, you know, people, Donny trains here, he's an awesome guy, he's making some good gains. Loves the ice tub as well, so special shout out to him and many, many thanks for this uh, bike. So we're going to be doing something for charity after World Strongest Man, so stay tuned for that. Just had an Insight supplements order, so you want to grab the... Follow me, baby. Oh, you're going to try it. We have got Liberty Juice pre-workout and it's juicy fruit gum flavour. So uh, we're going to give this a bash from inside. I'm going dry scoop, mate. Are you dry scooping as well, Tommy? No, I'm going to use it in this suit. We can use TS top, TS10 to save on pre-workouts, protein. Or LS10. LS10. Every supplement you want. LS10. Only use LS10 if he can do this without putting water in it. Just to chew it all. Yes, 10 it is, boys. <sighs> I feel liberated with the liberty juice. Mm. One scoop. Well, he always go two scoop. Come on, guys. I'm going against the rules. You want two scoops as well? I did one and a half, so. Are you done? Mm. Chew it. Don't put water in it. Let's squat. Oh, well, that was sweet. So that's us going up to 160, warm up with the axle. So now we've got to strip the bar um, and put the golden goblets of hell. We put them on so they're about 70, 71, 72 kilos each. Um, so we'll build that to whatever, 300 plus, see how that goes, and just keep squatting. Right, I'm going to weigh myself. This morning I was light. I'm about four meals in, so I should be around 173-ish. 174-2. with two meals left. As you can see, we're getting up in the weight, so I think it's 280 kilos now. Um, so we're just putting on knee wraps. They protect your knee joint as well, but they act like an elastic band. So again, as you're going down, they take the tension, take the tension. I mean, you spring back up, but it takes a while for you to get used to using them. Um, they're quite uncomfortable, quite tight. They cut off all the blood, so um, they're not the nicest. But 
you have to use them. So a lot of you obviously know that Tom likes to do a lot of jobbies. So you can have seen four meals what we've had so far. So maybe you've got more of an understanding why we do so. Well, Tom does so many jobbies. It's uh, quite a lot of food we've got to consume. So Tom frequents the toilet quite a lot, as he is now. Um, I'm not going to go as heavy as I planned, I just don't feel as good today, I don't know what it is, it's uh, so I'm just going to do a few singles at 300. Yeah, I felt a bit better, it's just uh, the weight on my back's feeling heavy because I've been, I've killed back this week, you know, and uh, just been training hard, but the squat itself felt alright. If I can keep doing that, I'll be fine. So. Thank you to all my haters. So with squats the last few weeks, we've kind of, we pushed it, so we did kind of 300 for 10 the first week, 320 for three sets of five, and we did 340 last week for two sets of five, I believe. Um, the 300, I did 300 for three, felt really comfortable there, so. I don't know, I might go up. What do you think, Simon? Should I go up or should I stay? 400. Right, so going heavy every week is nice. You know, everyone wants to go heavy every week, but sometimes you can't um, physically do that. Your central nervous system is kind of overloaded with all the heavy work. And at the moment, you know, Tom and me, so Tom smashed a 470 for two deadlift this week. That's the first time he's done that, so the central nervous system is just kind of spazzing out a little bit um, so he's still pumping out 300 like it's nothing but he's saying it's feeling a little bit heavier which it shouldn't do at this moment but the only reason it's feeling heavier on his back is because he's just been working his back really heavy so with that being said you know it is what it is next week probably won't go as heavy on the 18 inch deadlift we'll do some reps on it and then the squats will feel lighter so it's it's just understanding I think I think Tom understands his body, so that's, he knows why that is, so it's understanding your body as well, so we get a lot of questions like, oh I'm feeling weak, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that, and what that is, is if you've been going too heavy too often, you need to drop it down, we're not all superheroes, and you can't physically do that week in, week out, unless you're me, obviously, because I can do it every week. Well, that's our World Strongest Man squats done, um, yeah, just kind of going through the motions today, obviously we're a bit for ride, but still hitting 300 for comfortable reps. We now have the last two meals of our mammoth eating day. So, here we are. So this is my, effectively this is my dinner. So basically it's 300 grams of steak burgers. We got rice, we got veg again. So this is my second last meal. Just want to get this down me, get to go home. We need to clean up the gym and stuff. Um, go home, shower, and then I've got one more protein um, protein meal before bed, and that's it. So I'm gonna enjoy my meal. Meal five, dinner. Just finished the gym, so I'm gonna chill out with some meat, rice, veg, and uh, yeah, easy, easy, easy. Steak burgers, 340 grams. Rice is 400 grams now, and veg is like one pack of the microwavable veg, so it's a uh, a lot of rice now, but a lot, a lot of rice. If you want to get big and strong like me, eat food and support the Rangers. Obviously, this is better than a protein shake. Protein shakes work, but they're like a meal replacement, so you should try and eat full food. I mean, this will keep me fuller longer than a protein shake, so you should always eat full food. Um, and then about midnight, I'll have a protein shake, and that'll be me. Peace out. Thank you, fans. Anthony Joshua. <laughs> our bellies are full, our t-shirts are sweaty. We had to stay down in the gym a little bit longer than anticipated. Um, so we're about, and it's about 11. 
p.m. The gym's clean. But our last meal before we go home is our chocolate protein from Inside Supplements. So, um, so this is just an easy one. So we can have any protein source. You can have meat. We could have. Uh, fish, we could have yoghurt, whatever you want, but it's just easy to have this. It's just easy to have this last thing at night for us, so we're going to have a three scoops. You want to come in the video? Touch the ball. Two. Yeah, one more. One. Three. So that's all we need. So then we'll put that back on and then we need to mix it up. It's past your bed. Probably. I know, but lights it on. Are you going to shake? Are you going to shake it? Can you shake it for me? Shake it. Shake it. Yeah. <laughs> and there we have, guys. Three scoops. <laughs> Three scoops. So that's a full day of eating. Ella, do you think you could eat what we eat? No. Why? Because it's disgusting. It's disgusting? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Nathan. It's disgusting. Anyway, say thanks for watching, guys. Can you say that? And a big loud voice. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> stay safe, smile, stay spicy. And say, keep ringing that little bell. Like the bell, ding dong, 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 ding dong. You say ding dong. Say ding dong. Say ding dong. For no. Say goodbye, everybody. Oh, she pranked us. The Mulligans are coming up next week. William, Jordan. You better bring your big boy pants, because Big Tommy and Little Lukey are challenging you to a 50 meter sprint. Quick feet. Do you think we'll win, Tom? Good night. Night night, guys. You can't watch us.